Hello, salutations, how are you doing this wonderful day? Whatever day you are watching it. So, considering that it is currently February, I thought we would do the best rom-coms, in my humble opinion. So, let's get started with number one, and that is Sweet Home Alabama. Obviously, I've said numerous times this is my favorite movie. Therefore, obviously it's going to be the best rom-com, like, I mean, what can you, do you, like, what, what is there not to like? It's just an amazing, it's just an amazing movie. Okay, okay. Next up is The Proposal. Obviously, that is also one of the best rom-coms because Ryan Reynolds, Sandra Bullock, Betty White, like, add Betty White into anything and it's 10,000 times better. It's hilarious. Go watch it. Next is 27 Dresses. This is a really, really, really good one. Um, it takes a spin on the always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <clears throat> and it's just, it's just hilarious. Go watch it. Next up is Friends with Benefits. Now, the only reason why I watched this movie was because one year, my roommate in college um, got me this for Christmas. Um, this was back in my freshman year. And I was like, whatever, I'll watch it. It's actually pretty hilarious. And it's really sweet, sweet and cute, too. And it's got Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis, I mean. Come on. Ten Things I Hate About You. Classic. Classic. Heath Ledger, R.I.P. is amazing in it. And everyone else, too. It's just a real, real, really, really good movie. And you should go watch it. Next up is You've Got Mail. It's an oldie but a goldie, guys. I mean, it's really not that old. It's from the 90s. But still, it is a spin on... Um, the. It's one of the first movies on the internet dating. I mean, they're not... Spoiler, they're not actually, like, dating. They just talk back and forth. They're, they're pen pals, but in email. Yeah, and it's, it's really good. And it's got Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. And it's a classic. Uh, 13 Going on 30 is superb. It's good. Um, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer something, I can't remember her last name. Um, but it is amazing. And basically it's just like, this 13 year old wishes that she could grow up fast. Magic happens and she's 30 and she realizes that what she, what she wants in life is not what she wants in life. And so she changes it. Classic. Um, ooh, this is a new one. To all the boys I've loved before. It's real good, guys. Real, real good. <sighs> enough said. Um, Pretty Woman. That is classic. Um, it took me a couple of years to watch it because, you know, it was, it came up before me, I believe. Um, and it's basically about it prostitute hooker I don't know so like why would my mom let me watch that so I had to become an adult to watch it and appreciate it and it's good it's good guys and then last but not least is pretty in pink again took me until I got into high school to watch this because it came out in the 80s I wasn't born until the late 90s I just never really had any interest up until high school and so I watched it in high school because it's it's not it's not like that's not like pretty woman where it's you need to be an adult to watch. I mean, you don't need to be an adult to watch Pretty Woman, but, like, in my house you had to. It's good. It's cute. It's high school fun. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know I kind of went through that kind of fast. Sorry. Um, but if you enjoyed this, give it a big old thumbs up. Tell me your top, I don't know how many was that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your top ten. Um, rom-coms that you like um yeah happy february happy life um if you want to see more subscribe i post new videos every single friday at 4 p.m and thank you so much for watching and i hope to see beautiful faces next week